the last 20 to 25 years, absolutely dramatic advancements have taken place in the field of dentistry. That certainly cannot be denied. One of the most important involves the use of dental implants, which have enabled dentists to provide treatments for their patients, which heretofore had been practically out of the question for them. Today, implants have become one of the most important dental tools worldwide. And interestingly, one of the most significant role players in this field is headquartered here in Southern California in the city of Irvine. The firm is Southern Implants, and to gain some insight into this critical segment of dentistry, we visited the firm, toured their facility, and talked with the CEO, Michael Keogh. A dental implant is titanium replacement for the natural tooth root. It's similar to the shape of a tiny wood screw and it's implanted directly into the jawbone. Bone grows around this implant and uh, to that is a fixed post or an abutment to which a crown is affixed to. If you take a look at someone who's had a broken tooth, all they do is prepare or prep the broken crown on a tooth and cement a crown to this. Now you have something that replaces the root within the jaw and gives the person function and form. Why are implants always titanium? All of the dental implants on the market today are either uh, commercially pure titanium or what's called titanium alloy, which is a, a combination of 90% titanium and, and aluminum and vanadium. Titanium is chosen because it's a strong but somewhat flexible uh, material that can be implanted into a, into a person's body and uh, be biocompatible. Biocompatible meaning there's uh, adverse reactions happening with various individuals are extremely rare if existent at all. More important to the dentists since the surface there is the implant below on top of the implant there is the tooth and that interface between the two and it was very important for us as a company to follow along what compatible interfaces there are to make it easier for the clinicians to utilize some of the products they already have on their shelves to restore and all the clinicians that are referring to them. We at Southern Implants saw it as necessary to be fairly priced and still provide innovations and uh, superior service for our customers. Michael, question about implants. Out of all the advancements in the field of dentistry over the last, you know, 15, mm -hmm. 20 years, and there have been so many, when you come right down to it, how important has the implant been to the field of dentistry? There have been many wonderful advancements, especially in the, the field of orthodonture for children right. and adults. Right. But again, to me, you're returning form and function to people who have been missing teeth possibly for their entire adult life. What more can you do for them than provide them with uh, normal function to be able to eat normally and still smile and be happy with their smiles? The patient has anatomical limitations within the jaw. For example, the upper jaw happens to be angulated. All other implants on the market today would just with a regular implant require either bone grafting. Bone grafting is time consuming and often risky with an infection. So our implants have an angle already integrated into the implant which allows the clinician to place the implant right at the time of an extraction without having to do any additional treatments or uh, waiting times while those treatments are healing in like a bone graft. This is a clean room behind yes. us now, yeah. right? Explain yeah. to me why it's necessary to have a clean room. What goes on back here? Well, essentially, uh, just like in uh, electronic components manufacturing, you don't want any foreign material on your product. You want it pristine, but with a medical device, you don't want foreign bodies on it, pristine and clean, so that when it goes into the package, it can be accepted by the body without any adverse reactions or danger of infection, so it's absolutely clean. And what we do here is we receive the machine parts from our machine shop. We bring those parts into here, uh, inspect them as they come in. And in these different stations here, there's calibration and inspection of the uh, implants, looking at anything off tolerance in size, anything off tolerance in, in uh, macro geometry, the external part of the implant. Explain to me what the coaxis implant is and what it does. Many patients have not enough bone in the upper jaw just below their sinuses to position an implant. The lower first molar is the first one to go but the upper first molar is the second most frequent tooth lost in an adult. When there is not enough bone to place an implant one has really only two options. The first is to graft and while grafting we need to use bone alternatives either the patient's own bone 
or uh, synthetic bone or other sources and that is time consuming for the body to resorb that and to generate its own bone to allow to place an implant. Often that treatment is nine months or more and uh, there is risks attached to that type of treatment. There can be infections and obviously patient's acceptance is not great. With our angled implant, very often the coaxis implant can be placed in the available bone since it has an angulation integrated and avoid the sinus altogether. Initially implants were used to solve problems for people who are fully edentulous, had no teeth and they'd wait several months, sometimes six or eight months to have the finished product to be able to smile, eat steak, eat apples and today uh, many of the implants being developed can uh, be immediately restored but over time they've developed different surface technologies so that bone grows in rapidly, that, that the osteoblasts form around these surface enhanced implants so that bone grows in more rapidly in and around the implant so that you can put a restoration on very quickly, sometimes the next day, although you're not going to put it into full function immediately, the person at least can leave with a smile, something they can eat with, and by the time a few weeks goes by, they're onto a full hard diet. Recently, I've seen a lot of ads for mini implants. What, what is a mini implant? What's its use? Now they've come out with what's called transitional implants or very mini implants, which are half the, the diameter of the original implants, and sometimes they don't even have to do the the surgery that requires the tissue to be moved back to put the implant in and over dentures for that. So that's a technology that's been in existence now for a couple of years. Another implant that we have that is quite unique to us, it's a very wide implant. The widest diameter implant on the market other than Southern would be six millimeter. A six millimeter implant is not big enough to be put in a molar site in many occasions. Our widest implant is called a max implant and as the name says it's 8 or 9 millimeter in diameter and suits the molar socket very well. So when a patient is already in the chair, has been anesthetized and at this point the tooth is removed, very often a max implant can be placed at exactly that time and so instead of coming back for another surgery or waiting until a graft heals, the implant can be placed at the same time and uh, the patient is already four months ahead of getting his tooth restored. One is more apt to go out and socialize when they have a pretty smile. The majority of implant surgery is still being done by oral surgeons and periodontists but there's many many general practicing implant dentists in America today so it's being done by three specialties and prosthodontists and general practitioners are doing the restorative work. I think what sets us apart is the unique technologies we have, particularly for the molar regions and the aesthetic regions and the uh, upper jaw, but as well we, we do tend to give a, a greater level of customer service and technological help to the uh, oral surgeon, periodontist, prosthodontist, whoever is working with our product and to make sure that our products can be used as restoring the next day as opposed to waiting several months. And there you are, a look inside the dental world of Southern Implants, which is experiencing exceptional growth thanks to its unique proprietary implant systems, which address and simplify many of the most complex areas of implant dentistry. I'm Doug Llewellyn, reporting from Irvine, California.